The UFC loves screwing over fighters, it keeps on happening. And Benil Dariush is the next fight was happened to. Yes, I'm going to enjoy the Charles Oliveira versus Benil Dariush fight, but on paper, we all know it should have been Islam Makashev. Benil Dariush is in the same exact position as Bilal Mohamed. Both of them they haven't really got a personality. They're not very marketable. And I know that's not what the sport should be about. But when you see people like Masvidal having more of a chance of a title, then you know there's a problem. And the same thing here. Benil Dariush deserves a title shot. He is the dark horse of the division. A bit like Bilal Mohamed. But he won't get it. So if Charles Oliveira beats Dariush, look where Dariush is right now, fourth. If Charles Oliveira beats him, he will not get a title shot. It won't happen. So all that hard work of beating people like Gamrot, having all those other wins on his record, even beating a guy like Drew Doba by Ambar, it won't mean anything. And he'll have to then rebuild that record up to then be offered another title shot. And he'll probably have to fight one of these guys, like maybe a Gaethje or a Poirier, making it harder for him to get a title. So he's in a really bad position right now. And he doesn't help himself by not marketing. But I know he's not interested in doing all of that. But it's not going to help him in the future. And even looking at his record, he deserves it more than anyone right now. Look, he beat Thiago Moises. And believe it or not, Thiago Moises picked up Makashev and slammed him down to the ground. I know Makashev got back up, but that is a good win to have in your record. Drew Doba, Armbar. Frank Camacho, a power merchant. Drakkar Close, again, he was 11-1 and one at the time. Like, you're looking at the guys he's beating. Yeah, you might say Scott Holtzman, no. It's a bad win, he's a journeyman. But Diego Fajaya, 17-2 and two at the time. Tony Ferguson, yeah, he was kind of done at the time, but it's a good win. And then that Mateo Scamrock fight, that showed how competitive he will be against a guy like Islam Makashev. Because we know what Gamrot's like. He's that type of fighter who, non-stop pressure, a bit like what Colby does. Loads of cardio, gets you against the fence... Won't let go of your legs. Constantly trying to take you down. And he struggled against Benil Dariush. Sherry yeah, got him down a few times. But even then he was able to scramble himself into better positions. And actually knock him down in the fight. And you might think he might be able to do that against a guy like Charles Oliveira. Maybe he could catch him with that shot. Because Charles Oliveira, he does have that tendency of coming forward. And when he comes forward, he can eat crosses and hooks to the chin. One example of this is when against Dustin Porius, coming forward constantly trying to fight in the tie clinch, he got caught with a cross into a right hook. Again, against Gaethje, he got caught with a right hook. It put it down. And I know he's winning these fights, but he can walk into these punches. And again, Makashev knocked him down with a right hook. And Benil Dariush, they're quite similar in terms of like head movement. They do not move their head a lot off the centre line. And I think there might be a lot of knockdowns in this fight. That's if they decide to keep it on the feet. And a lot of you might say Benil Dariush has got power to drop him and then control him on the ground. Yes, he could do that. And we did see him do it against a guy like Tony Ferguson. And Charles Oliveira's got that better jiu-jitsu than Tony Ferguson on the ground. And you don't want to play in his guard for too long. Because if you do and you get complacent, he can catch you in a triangle choke. And that's why I think it's a bad matchup for Benil Dariush. A lot of you might think it's good for Benil Dariush. But Benil Dariush, in my opinion, has got the grappling advantage. But Charles Oliveira's got the striking and the jiu-jitsu advantage. And you might argue Benil Dariush might have more power than Charles Oliveira. Arguably, that's arguable. But I would say Charles Oliveira's got more speed to go with his punches. So if you want to talk about who's going to be first to the punch, I think it'll be Charles Oliveira. Because he's going to come forward with that Muay Thai stance, teep in the leg kicks, and then he comes forward, and then he can crack Benil Dariush on the chin. And Benil Dariush, his chin can be suspect. Like, you've got to remember those fights with... Edson Barbosa, he got cared with a knee when he shot for a takedown. I don't think Charles Oliveira will do something like that. But then you look for that Alexander Hernandez fight. He got knocked out cold. And when I think about that now, that must be a fluke. Because look at how both of their careers are going. You've got Benil Dariush, who should be a title contender. And you've got Alexander Hernandez having a sluggish fight with a 40-year-old Jim Miller. But anyways, they've both got a tendency to be hitting the head a lot on the feet. And that's why I think... It's a more competitive fight than you think. I don't think in the first round there'll be a finish. I think it will happen in the second round. And I think they're both going to keep it on the feet because Benil Dariush knows. Yeah, he can wrestle with these other guys. He even did it against a guy like Diego Fajaya, who's known for having very good jiu-jitsu. But on the feet, he's average. He's not a great striker. Benil Dariush is going to probably want to approach the fight like he did against Tony Ferguson. Get him down to the ground, lie down on him, crush him... And it's only three rounds, remember. 
And three rounds you might think would benefit Benil Dariush because he could do the Tony Ferguson approach. But I don't think it will. I think it's going to benefit Charles Oliveira more than it is for Benil Dariush. Because if he's looking to go for takedowns, I think Charles Oliveira will have to approach the fight with more urgency. He will have to look for the submission, whereas Benil Dariush will be looking for control time. And it's always damage over control. So I think what he did against Tony Ferguson, it can work because he did get that heel hook on Tony Ferguson. And he did control him, like managing that north-south position in the third round, keeping all of that weight on top of Tony Ferguson. But against Charles Oliveira, I don't think that will work because he's got good reversals. And you might be saying that Charles Oliveira is getting knocked down in a lot of fights and Benil Dariush might not be scared to fight in this guard because he's done it with jiu-jitsu guys in the past. I think because Benil Dariush is going to try and throw those like heavy overhands, Charles Oliveira is going to beat him to the punch. He's going to throw that one-two that's going to beat the overhand, put Benil Dariush down and try and take his back like he did to Justin Gaethje. Because I don't think Benil Dariush is going to look to set up like his overhands with feints. If he was looking to set it up with like a feint, like shift his head to the left and then follow up with the right overhand, then he could land on him, but he don't feint, he don't move his head off the centre line. Well, neither does Charles Oliveira that much, but I think the strike selection from Charles Oliveira will benefit him over Benil Dariush. And it's unfortunate because I can just see what's going to happen. Charles Oliveira goes out there, beats him. And then everyone forgets about Benil Dariush getting a title shot. And we might even be talking about an Oliveira Makashev 2 or something like that. And yes, we're back to Islam Makashev's Twitter. So he put who is next. And what's very unfortunate for Benil Dariush is, look, the fight was announced, I believe, yesterday or the day before. I can't remember when. But then Makashev 13 hours ago puts who is next. It should have been Benil Dariush. This shouldn't be Charles Oliveira. It should have been... Islam Makashev versus Benil Dariush. Perfect matchup. Would have offered something unique. I would say Islam Makashev is the better striker than Benil Dariush as of now. Because look what happened with the Volkanovski fight. He made it competitive even with the striking. I know he was worrying about the takedown. But I don't think Benil Dariush would make that fight as competitive as Islam Makashev would. So it's like Islam Makashev is tactically put who is next. And the only person I can think of is Volkanovski as of right now. I don't think they should give it to Dustin Poirier, so you're going to have to do it to Volkanovski again, but he's meant to fight Yair now, so it's in a weird position. Conor McGregor's fighting Michael Chandler on the Ultimate Fighter. Let's just say Conor McGregor beats Michael Chandler, which I think he might do. He will get a title shot with Makashev before Benil Dariush. It doesn't matter about who deserves it more at that point. Anytime it's Conor McGregor, he's Dana White's golden boy. He will get anything he wants. And if you want to bring up the stats here... Benil Dariush has got a high chance of taking him down. Look what he did against Tony Ferguson and Diego Ferreira. I want you to look at the Tony Ferguson, like I said before, mostly, because that's the type of matchup it will be. You would have thought Tony Ferguson would have been the better striker and better at jiu-jitsu. But then when he came up against the wrestler in Benil Dariush, because his wrestling can be so dominant at times, he weren't able to show off his striking or his jiu-jitsu in the fight. And it could end up like that. That's one thing I worry about for Charles Oliveira. And apart from the Tony Ferguson fight, I believe, right here, he doesn't really attempt for a load of takedowns in fights. He wants to keep it on the feet. But usually, a lot of fighters don't want to take him down to the ground because they know if you take him down to the ground, he's got that jiu-jitsu threat and can submit you. But I think Benil Dariush will test that area and Charles Oliveira won't be able to get him down to the ground, even if he tried, because Benil Dariush has got that good takedown defense rate so i think he's going to keep it on the feet and the only way he'll go down to the ground is if he knocks down benil dariush or he does what michael chiesa does against benil dariush where he had him against the fence he got the body triangle and then he got the rear naked choke that is a possibility also and it could end up a bit like charles Oliveira against dustin poria right here so yeah that's it i do feel bad again for another fighter benil dariush he's like the Bilal muhammad at lightweight deserves the title shot won't get it but he's a better Bilal Muhammad. He's actually got good striking to go with it. But not as good as Charles Oliveira, in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.